Once again, more dialogue. Skip, 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 skip. Now, a bit about this game. I actually love this scene. And I love the play, I Want to Be Your Canary. It's an homage to Shakespeare's plays, especially because the writer of I Want to Be Your Canary's name is Lord Avon, as in Stratford-upon-Avon, where Shakespeare was born and lived and stuff. And in some ways you can see bits of the story and bits of the love story between Cornelia and Marcus in the relationship of Garnet and Zidane. And I also find it entertaining that uh, all of the characters, except for Cornelia and Leo, in I Want to Be Your Canary, have the names of the people that were cast in those roles. <laughs> like there's a Don and a Blank and a Marcus and a Sina, etc, etc, etc. Cornelia is also a name well known to the Final Fantasy series as a whole, just like Sarah. And you, I can't remember which game the first Cornelia appeared in. Maybe somebody can tell me. It's been a while since I played the uh, earlier numbered ones. Maybe I'll do one of those as a Let's Play sometime. As you can saw there, I had a bit of lag issues, especially when you're running this game on an emulator on a computer like mine, which has a shitty Intel graphics card. <laughs> you're gonna have some lag issues when you're emulating. There's not really much you can do about that except running in the lowest settings possible and not recording with fraps at the same time. <laughs> it shouldn't affect your time that much, the lag because I think it lags the game clock as well, I don't know. But even then, just be as fast as you possibly can with your runs, and it should make up the time difference if there is any. And again, you won't be using fraps while playing the game, so you're probably not gonna have as hard a time as I do. So here, this fight. Ignore the Pluto Knights. Do not hit them once, there's not really much point to it. Go for Steiner. If you take out Steiner, the other two run away automatically. It shouldn't take too long, especially with Zidane still having the Mage Masher. And especially with DV being in the team now with his amazing Black Mage abilities. So, try to finish the fight as soon as possible. And... Yeah, it shouldn't take you more than a couple rounds between uh, Zidane with the Mage Masher and VB with Fire. Garnet really can't do shit in this fight, <laughs> because all she can really do is cure at this point. <laughs> and Marcus has some abilities, but not much. And now we get some more FMV skipping, which is really, really hard on the emulator. Trust me, there are circuits in just what you've seen so far where I've had to do four or five more times than I thought I would just because the game crashed when I was trying to skip the FMVs. The thing about that is, you might want to try making a save state just before the FMV is going to start if you want to risk it. That way you can just go back to that point just before the FMV. I wouldn't call it cheating because it's kind of a hardware uh, emulator malfunction versus you screwing up. So, I would adv advocate the use of safe states before FMVs just in the off chance that the game crashes. Because you don't really have that problem on the PSX. Alright, now this is a fight with some peculiar tactics. You just have the Bomb and Steiner. Now what you want to do here is you want to kill yourself. Have everybody but on attack themselves to knock themselves out so he is the last person left on the field. This will push the fight automatically into its last stages in order to get it over sooner. And just have Zidane defend the entire time until the battle's over. 
because it will just end automatically if you do this. I think it might have been part of the developer saying, okay, you've just been too, too, been through two boss fights without any reprieve, so we're just gonna give you, uh, we're just gonna time this fight so you can get to the next save point without having to go through three fights if you lose. And there you go, boss fight's already over. I think I screwed that up up there. Ignore the little... Ignore ignore the man behind the curtain. Ignore the little thing in the corner. There we go. And here we go. The royal elephant, Queen Brawn, is whining about the runaway princess. Again, it's almost a shame that you have to skip through the dialogue so much. I really love the story of Final Fantasy IX. And again, it is my favorite of the Final Fantasy games, so that's kind of to be expected. <laughs> so, skip this FMV, the one where Zidane looks over the wreckage of the Prima Vista, in order to get to the save point as quickly as possible in order to check your time. Right now, they're cleaning out the Prima Vista, trying to get people out and throwing bodies on each other. So you can tell the guy underneath there was very much alive and he decided just to throw someone on top of them. Kind of an asshole move. Here we get the AT thing. You can't skip this. You have to do it. It's one of the one or two ATs you'll actually be watching during this challenge. And yes, you will be skipping most of the ATEs, even the ones you really like. It sucks, but you're going to have to deal with it if you want to get through the game quick enough to get the Excalibur 2. Now that you're done, go over to Moscow here and save your game. He doesn't really have a letter just yet. He will later. I think. Then again, it has been a couple months since I've recorded this video. But let's see what our time is. And it is 32 minutes and 7 seconds. That is Scarlet with Let's Play Final Fantasy IX Excalibur 2 Perfect Game Run. I will see you later.